Welcome back. It's new books time. Have you ever had an imaginary friend? <laughs> and I know you might not even want to tell anybody, but maybe you have. My daughter had one. His name was Uchi. Yeah, Uchi. <laughs> and Uchi lived in a tree stump. So we would have to walk by it every day. <laughs> And then one time she really scared me. She said, Uchi left. And I said, oh, where does he live now? And then she said, in the trunk of your car. And I was like, ah! <laughs> so if you've ever had an imaginary friend or you just want to read a picture book about an imaginary friend, this is a great one. And we now have a copy of it. It is called Imaginary Fred. <laughs> Highly recommend it. Then... I read this chapter book. I don't always get a chance to read the chapter books. I love this chapter book so much. I just finished. So now it is ready to come out into the library. And it is called The Puppets of Spellhorst. And it is about a group of puppets. And no one can hear them talk, but they can talk to themselves. And their adventures. And how they travel together and what happens to them. And it is by an incredible author who all of her books are really good and she is famous for this book right here all right now if you like the bad guy series the author and illustrator of the bad guy series has a new series and it is called cat on the run and this is the very first one that we have in our library and just like the bad guys it looks like a graphic novel. Most of the time it's black and white, but it has a lot of pictures, not a lot of words. So I would recommend this for pretty much all of our grade levels. Then we didn't have very many of these. And a lot of you are fans of these books that come in the Branches series. And I think we only have like one or two of these owl diaries but now we have a lot and i got multiple copies which means sometimes look we have the same copy of the exact same book and why because some of you like to take the same book that your friend takes out of the library and read it together i've seen you do that so sometimes i do try to buy doubles whoa there you go or triples of the same book. And our Owl Diaries will sit on the new bookshelves for a little while and then we will put them over by our swivel rack in case you're interested. These are easy to read, highly recommend for my first and my second graders. Then I'm gonna let a few students take over. See you soon. Hey everyone, have you ever read a graphic novel before? Well, if you haven't, you're in for a real treat. Today, I want to tell you about this amazing graphic novel called Bone by Jeff Smith. Bone is about three cousins, Bone Bone, Boney Bone, and Smiley Bone, who get lost in a mysterious valley after being run out of their village. They discover a world filled with strange creatures like dragons, wreck creatures, and mysterious people. The story is funny, exciting, and sometimes a little scary, but it's always really interesting. The best part about Bone is that it's like a comic and lots of great drawings and pictures that help the story. So if you like adventure, humor, and amazing artwork, you should definitely check out Bone by Jess Smith. Bye! Have a good day! This is Cornbread and this is Poppy. Poppy's not afraid of anything, but Cornbread's afraid of a lot of things. When they go on the Ferris wheel, um, they discover that Poppy's afraid of heights, but Cornbread isn't. Then they order runny cheese. I mean, like, one orders runny, Poppy orders runny cheese, but Cornbread just orders cheddar. I like this book a lot. It was very funny. That was great. I love this. If you're getting inspired by seeing some of your friends in the videos, don't forget, it's not too late. Grab a paper, you have to get your parents' permission. It's sitting on the table in the library. And then I give you a book that hasn't come out yet and you make a video for us in case you're interested. So let's end with a new game. Again, thanks to our principal, Dr. Mitchell. This is another game that will be over by the windows and it is called Emojix. And yeah, it has to do with emojis. So if you love emojis and you wanna try a new game, come check this out during morning after <laughs> morning routine time or maybe on a rainy day sometime. All right, thanks so much for watching.